What's up guys, Sebastian here. Um, basically today what I'm gonna discuss is I'm getting a question a lot of people asking me how much money do you need to get started with dropshipping and all that stuff, so let's get into it. So, to get started with dropshipping, there are a few variables you need to remember and like discuss and think about. I mean discuss with yourself maybe, I don't know. Um, sorry if I sound sick by the way. My nose is stuffy, have a headache, and my throat kind of hurts, but you know, gotta crank out this content for you guys. Um, but basically, you got there are a few things you need to think about. So, the main thing that you need to think about is cost for Shopify monthly payments. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to get started with Shopify. It'll give you guys a 14-day free trial, um, and you guys can leverage that. But then also, and it is an affiliate link, so I will make a little bit of money on it. I just wanted to like be transparent with you guys. But also, there's the cost of marketing. And then there's one more thing that... It, is kind of I, I guess blurry in a sense a lot of people don't see this but when you make when you market and you make orders you actually have to front the money like so if, if I get a hundred orders I would actually have to pay for all of those orders and it, it, it I guess it sucks in a sense but it's something you have to consider so in the beginning what I personally recommend is doing one promotion maybe making a few hundred bucks waiting for that money to come in or you can fulfill the orders depending on how much money you have but then but then like I was saying waiting till all the money is in your account so that you can actually market more and if you get a lot of orders you can fulfill them with ease and I mean now I'm to the point where I can do whatever I really want like if I want to fulfill a hundred orders in a day I can do that no problem but a lot of people are it's it's like kind of a good question to ask how much you actually need because some people only see the cost of marketing and the cost of running your store like you know the monthly fee for Shopify as well as the monthly fees for apps if you do install paid apps which you probably should I mean there are a few good ones that I, I recommend I, I have a video on that if you guys want to check that out but the like seriously I do not think you guys need more than a hundred dollars to get started some people may have different opinions I personally like I'm not even gonna lie like no matter what I've probably told people I had more money in my bank account than what I really did because I made a lot of money with eBay you know buying and reselling phones but I blew all my money truly <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie when I started my store I legitimately had forty seven dollars in my bank account I did not have enough money to go through and make the next or I barely had enough money to go through and make the next month's payment for Shopify but from that forty seven dollars I took the seven and I put it into one um, influencer marketing post or influencer post and that one post generated me five hundred dollars in revenue and I did not even have enough money to fulfill all the orders so I had to wait and like wait to fulfill the orders a little bit which sucked but that's something you have to worry about it was a good problem to have if you guys get what I'm saying so I mean that's truly what I think on how much you need to start and all that stuff I think Fifty to a hundred dollars is good. A hundred dollars is being on the safe side. Fifty dollars is a little risky. I mean, you can still do it, no problem. So if you only have fifty dollars, don't complain and say, "Oh, I need to wait till I have a hundred dollars." No, get started. I mean, leverage the fourteen-day trial. By leverage, I mean make your site in the first two days from the trial, and then after that, you have twelve days to market before you actually have to pay thirty dollars for the monthly fee. So from in those twelve days, you can market on your third day. And generate a hundred dollars like very simply if you find the right influencer pages if you go through and make sure it's a legit page and all the engagement comments likes or the engagement comments followers make sure that they're all not fake that they're actually legitimate fans and potential customers for your products and then I mean seriously you can generate a hundred dollars you can generate a few hundred dollars before you actually even end the trial something that people don't take seriously is they just create the account and then they dabble here and there and then they make their they make their site over like the span of 10 days and then they have a few days left to market and stuff and then they're scared and then they do it once and then they're like wait I don't want to spend this $30 so they just cancel their store I've seen that happen time after time you truly never know how close you are to actually hitting success like I could have canceled my store I definitely could have could have been like wait no I don't I even have enough money to fund the monthly payments I need to stop this what am I doing but instead I did a thing that most people wouldn't do I actually spent money on marketing granted it was only seven dollars which turned into around five hundred dollars but that's I mean that's the how risk how much risk are you willing to take it seriously it was forty seven dollars like in my bank account I didn't really worry 
if I risked it all, I could have gone and done stuff to make more money. I mean, that yeah, that's kind of my thought. But I mean, things have changed. I have made a lot of money since then. I have more than forty-seven dollars in my bank account now, a lot more. But um, it yeah, things have changed. Um, but personally, guys, I think you guys should be well off with a hundred dollars. Now that's that's like being on the safe side a little. I think having having more is is awesome to have, but it's not necessary. I mean, you guys can't have five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. It's not necessary. Yeah, sure, you can run promotions like you can just go all in and run tons of promotions and make a lot of money. But for you guys just starting out or in a tough situation, you guys don't need an insane amount of money. I mean, fifty dollars is or a hundred dollars is not a lot of money. You guys can scrap that together in a week or two if you guys hustle and do stuff like. I don't know, go wash cars or something, or go ask your neighbor if he needs any help with anything, or if, like, I don't know, go do something, like, go walk dogs around your neighbor, around the neighborhood or something like that, or, like, buy and resell phones on eBay for cheap until you have enough to start a store, or, like, sell things around your house, like, there's so much you can do to make money, so there's not really any excuse that's gonna make me feel sad for you, or make me feel like you're in a bad position, because there's always something you can do to fix your situation. But guys, that was basically it for this video. So to sum it up, there are a few fees or a few things that you need to worry about. You need to worry about the cost of marketing, the cost of the Shopify monthly payments, which again, I'll give you guys a 14-day trial and link in my description in the description. Again, affiliate link, so I do make a little bit of money off of it. But also, then there are the costs of fulfilling orders. And that should not be an insane amount unless you get a wild amount of orders your first day. But which that's a good problem to have, not gonna lie. Um, and then I mean, you guys can also think of the apps. That's excessive when you're just beginning. You don't need to get paid apps. Maybe once you already make a a little bit of money, you can get paid apps. But until then, I would just stick with the free ones. Not gonna lie, that's what I did. That's what I yeah, that's what I did when I was not making insane money. Um, and then, I mean, when you do get orders, Shopify takes a few, like a little small percentage, and then PayPal takes a small percentage, but it's not too big of a deal. It doesn't cut into your profits too much. I mean, on a big scale, it kind of does a little bit, but not, not an insane amount. Like, it's, it's a few percent, I think, like 3% or something, which isn't too bad, but that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I mean, I hope I provided value for you guys. Like, I hope you guys can either be more in a sense, um, like worry free now that you know how much money you actually need to get started. Like $100 is not that much to get started with and it's not like you don't need an insane amount to get started. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoy. If you guys need, I will link the um, promotion comment that I have created and structured for you guys. That's the one I currently use. It's basically when you run influencer posts, I'm gonna give you the comment to use. So you guys don't actually have to come up with your own like creative one I've already done the creative and all that for you guys and I do charge a little bit of money but I don't see a problem with that it's I'm providing massive value with that and then as well as I've created an FAQ page that lowers your customer support immensely I mean it, it has 20 plus questions and answers that a lot of people would actually ask you that you basically don't ever have to answer um, like in an email or in a DM because they're gonna be able to read the answer um, or the question and the answer so those links will be in the description and then as well as the Shopify um, link if you guys want to sign up or just go to Shopify.com. It doesn't, it's whatever. Um, and then my socials, Instagram, Snapchat, I'll leave those in the description. And then guys, I have a Facebook group. So basically it's where all of us talk and like help each other out. And if we have questions and I personally can't answer them, like in the time being, someone can answer them in the group. We have 200 plus members. So that'll, it's very awesome. Like you guys can get your questions answered very quickly. But that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys on the live stream tonight for sure. I was sick last night, so I couldn't really, but I'm recovering, getting a little better, still sound a little sick, but no worries. I'll be on the live stream tonight and I will answer basically any question everyone throws at me, as long as it's not something weird like they have been for a, like on some of the streams. But that's about it guys. I will see you guys tonight. Peace.